This video will cover how to edit parts in the context of an assembly. Part features cannot be added to just an assembly. All features have to be created within a part or a sheet metal part. For example, if you need to add a hole that goes through several parts, you will not be able to add a hole to the assembly. Each part will have to be edited. The value in editing parts from within the assembly is that any changes made to the part will instantly be seen in the assembly. There are two different ways to edit parts from within the context of the assembly. 1. Edit here. 2. Edit in separate window. The first way to edit a part is to right-click on the part in the Design Explorer or Workspace and select Edit Here. When you are in this mode, the part can be edited, the rest of the parts in the assembly are visible, and inter-design constraints can be added between parts. When in this edit mode, you will notice that the Design Explorer changes to the Part Design Explorer, and the toolbars or ribbons also change. To stop editing the part in the Design Explorer, right-click on the file being edited and select Edit Root Assembly. The second option is to right-click on the part in the Design Explorer or Workspace and select Edit in Separate Window. This will open the part in a new window that is separate from the rest of the parts in the assembly. The advantage of this mode is that you are only viewing this particular part without seeing the rest of the assembly. To stop editing the part, simply close the part workspace. There is no need to save the edited part since it will be saved when the assembly is saved. In both cases, either Edit Here or Edit in Separate Window, since the part is open within the context of the assembly, the changes that are made to the part will be instantly displayed in the assembly. If a part is inserted multiple times in an assembly, when it is edited, those changes will be reflected in every instance where the part is used. For example, if you have three instances of a bolt in an assembly, and one instance of the bolt is changed, all three instances of the bolts will be updated. This is because all the bolts are actually referencing the same part. This updating is not limited to only the assembly, though. If a 2D drawing has been made of the assembly, that assembly drawing will also reflect the changed parts. If a bill of material was created of the assembly, and instances of the bolt are added or removed, the bill of material will also parametrically update showing the correct number of bolts in the assembly. The bill of material will also update if the properties of the bolt are changed. This video covered how to edit parts in the context of an assembly. There are two different ways to edit parts from within the context of the assembly. 1. Edit here. 2. Edit in separate window. The value in editing parts from within the assembly is that any changes made to the part will instantly be seen in the assembly.